Hello and welcome to Crypto Times TV. There is one place on Earth that gets more sun than any other, Africa. And owing to its climate, Africa has a huge potential for developing solar power facilities across the continent. There are, however, a number of hurdles that have been very hard to overcome in order to make Africa the most efficient and environmentally friendly provider of electricity for the peoples inhabiting all 54 countries. But there is one team of blockchain enthusiasts that has come up with an idea of just how this new technology can be implemented to harness the sun's energy for the common good. Our today Today's review is about the project called Solarex. We're going to go over what this thing is all about, their upcoming ICO and tokens. We're going to talk about the people on the team and give you our opinion on the entire concept behind Solarex. In our next video, we'll be talking about Hatachain, a third generation blockchain system. So if you're interested, come check that out and remember to subscribe to our channel. You can also hit that bell icon to get an instant notification once we've uploaded a new video. But before we go any further, here's a quick disclaimer. We are not financial experts and this review cannot be regarded as a call for investment. So we suggest our viewers do more research on their own before considering any involvement in this particular project. The team of Solarex is seeking to create an ecosystem that will solve the problem that billions of people have to deal with on a day-to-day basis – the lack of access to affordable electricity. African countries have the lowest access to electricity, and more than 90% of African people are ranked among the top 10 generators that burn biomass or fossil fuels for cooking. The solution is a newly created blockchain-based system for expanding solar power plants and distributing the energy generated by them in an efficient manner. A blockchain will connect the plants, thus creating a decentralized system. The global energy demand has created a huge market, which has seen countries requiring more energy to power their infrastructural developments and create an enabling economic growth over the past two decades. Solar power technology, which has gained global acceptability, has ultimately become the main driver in the energy market, with developed countries deploying its potential in boosting its renewable target. However, despite the large solar potential, penetration of solar power in Africa's energy sector is still very low, and a lot of entrepreneurs are beginning to exploit this lucrative but untapped opportunity. The whole concept of Solarex has its focus on managing the existing resources more efficiently. But just how is Solarex going to remove the existing obstacles that have been terrifying businesses previously pursuing the same goal is still a big question. Solarex utility tokens will allow their holders to take part in the ecosystem by granting them access to all platform modules developed by the team. They are built on the ERC-20 standards and designed to increase in value as more people get involved in the ecosystem. The total supply of tokens is 1.8 billion, while 1 billion 344 million tokens are for sale. Over the many rounds of sale, Solarex intends to raise a minimum of $5 million, and $60 million on top of that amount make up the hard cap. One token will sell for 5 cents, but you won't be able to pay in fiat. Ethereum, Bitcoin and Litecoin are the currencies accepted during the ICO. As for the timeline of the ICO, the whole event is partitioned into five stages, private sale being the first. It was live until December 15. The next round is pre-sale that has to be announced yet, plus three additional ICO stages in the first quarter of 2019. Tokens are going to be listed on exchanges 14 days after the end of the ICO. When is that going to be is still unknown. The MVP development began just last November. It's a peer-to-peer -peer energy trading platform that is scheduled for launch in the first quarter of 2019. It will allow people with home solar solution generate their own energy in homes, offices, factories, and trade their excess energy with other people locally. PFP platform development starts in the first quarter of 2019 along with a mobile app and a designated website for energy trading and managing. The team of Solarex formed last year and was registered in the United Kingdom. And now we would like to take a look at some of the key people here. O.T. Adama is the CEO and founder of Solarex. He's a serial entrepreneur and a business angel, also the director of Africa Blockchain Research Council. He claims to have managed complex projects globally over the span of his career. Deepak Majiga is chief technology officer. He was employed as a data center architect at Nokia. Now he changed his focus over to blockchain technologies while also taking interest in artificial intelligence and quantum computer. He's regarded an expert in cloudification among his peers. Kronal Bangate is a solar plant engineer. This one individual is especially important to mention because he's going to coordinate the setup of Solarex farms. He's the founder of Smart Automations, an India-based company that provides automation for solar, thermal and process industry. For more information on the team members, please refer to the official Telegram chat because there's not much to learn from what is presented on the website or in the white paper. 
We must tell you that we've been watching this project for months before we decided to do this review. The reason why it took us so long is because the team had some issues with the concept, which resulted in a major delay in the website launch and white paper publication. On top of that, Solarex had to suspend the bounty campaign that had been running since last June. All participants who have their stakes in the bounty pool are still waiting for further announcements. You can expect them appear anytime on any of the official media channels where they have an account. This includes Twitter, Facebook, GitHub, Reddit, Bitcoin Talk, Medium and Telegram. You see, before people can utilize the tokens issued by Solarax, there has to be a product they want to pay for. In this case, it's electricity. As the team says, the blockchain technology is adapted to much-needed security around transaction and metering of solar power in decentralized mode. But how are you supposed to meter it without delivering it to the consumer? Sure, one of the Solarax ambitions is to build more solar panels. But a feat like that would be a multi-billion project. So we would say that Solarax would have to set a little larger hot cap to accomplish that. Not to mention that the amount of work that has to be done will increase dramatically. If everything goes according to plan, the first solar plant owned by Solarax will be set up in Nigeria. And if that milestone is reached, the team has all chances to gradually power the entire continent, showcasing the viability of their business model. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and join us now to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. We roll them out daily, Monday through Friday, so stay tuned.